I mean, did I just like learn how to do my makeup again? Ugh, I'm going through it. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's Elena. I just want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. I am so grateful for you guys. If there's any content that you guys want to see that you feel like I haven't kind of touched base on, just leave it in the comment section below. I would really love to know what you guys are looking for and how I can help. And I'm just going to ask you guys before we get into today's video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're already not subscribed and ring that notification bell so every time I post a video, you guys will be the first to know. So today's video is all about viral TikTok trends. But you guys, I'm actually kind of in awe. This is not how I do my makeup normally. This is a completely different lip shape for me. This is not how I do my concealer, my blush. I look a little bit crazy right now because half of my face is my normal makeup. The other half of my face is the TikTok makeup. And I have to admit, I kind of love it. The verdict is still out for me on the liner. I might feel a little bit dramatic, but I'm just gonna try out a few of these TikTok trends and see kind of what works for me, what works for you. I'm curious to see if you guys do it my way or the TikTok way. It's really funny to me because so many years ago, like 15 years ago when I first started doing makeup, we were mixing creams with powders, we were using eyeshadow for lipstick, all of these different things. And I've told you guys this before, I learned how to do a lot of my contouring and powder from the drag queens that I worked with at the Mac store, which I'm so forever grateful to have learned from them because drag queens are the pioneers of contour. So I think what TikTok has kind of done for me is it's kind of brought me out of my shell and been like, oh, huh, interesting, I can do that. I'm I'm gonna try it. So if you guys wanna see me think outside the box and try a few different looks, keep on watching. Okay, we're gonna try this. So the foundation I'm gonna be using is the Giorgio Armani, the Luminous Silk Foundation. This foundation doesn't really have a matte finish. It has more of a dewy, satiny finish, and the coverage, I would say, is definitely medium. You can build it up, but it's a medium coverage. So we're gonna try this hack. I'm gonna put a little bit of this on my hand. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do on this side? I'm going to put the foundation on regular so we can see how it looks. And then on the other side, I'm gonna do it with the tic-tac, the tic-tac. <laughs> That's how old I am, uh, the tic-tac hack. Okay, so this is the foundation just on top of my skin. I already have my moisturizer on, my serums, oil, all of the things that I would normally put on. Okay, so I love this foundation because it really is so beautiful. It just looks so nice on the skin. Medium coverage, really pretty, it looks like skin. And on this side, let's try it with the powder. So we're gonna pop some of this. I'm really running low on this foundation. So here's the foundation. Next TikTok video I'm gonna do is where the girl puts on the foundation and it looks like this all over her face. The only thing that I can think of when I see that video, it reminds me of that YouTube video with the little kid with the peanut butter all over his face. Like that is actually what it reminds me of. Okay, so the powder I'm gonna be using is my Kat Von D translucent powder. Oh, I have to do this down here. Okay, so I put like half powder in and then you mix it in with your finger. Okay, so this is definitely making this way, way thicker. It changed the color a little bit, but not too much. So let's see how this works. I'm just gonna get it on with my finger and then blend it out with the brush. So it definitely added more coverage. Hmm. I don't know. I think it shows the texture of my skin a little bit more. So after watching this again, I definitely love the way that it made my skin feel. It gave more coverage. It made the foundation a little bit more matte. The reason I love this foundation is because it feels so lightweight on my skin. And adding the powder into it really didn't change that weightless feel that the foundation gives me on my skin. So I think for my clients, I, per I personally wouldn't do this. I would probably just use a more matte full coverage foundation. But I think for me, um, if I was going on a vacation and I only want to pack one foundation and I get very sunburned or if I'm like in a tropical place where it's hot I would definitely use this technique for that all right let's try the next one next hack we're gonna be using concealer on my left side I'm using concealer just in the corners and out on the sides and what this is gonna do is it's supposed to be lifting up my face and on the other side, I'm going in a triangle shape, which I'm gonna be going underneath my eye and dragging it down to my cheeks. And then we're gonna let it sit for a few minutes and see how we can blend it out and what the difference is. Okay, moment of truth, let's blend this out. Oh my God, you guys. 
Okay, I have to agree with this one. I really think that this made such a difference. This eye looks so much more lifted. My whole face looks lifted. This actually does drag down. So this guy definitely works. Swoop it up. Okay, let me even myself out. This guy literally, I see him every day. I don't know. On TikTok, he is all over. He talks about the bat liner for hooded eyes. And as you guys know, I do have hooded eyes. They droop down on the ends. So we're gonna try this bat wing liner. I feel like I accidentally always did the bat liner on my eye anyway because of my eye shape, but I'm actually gonna do it the way that he shows you. The first thing that he says is to draw a line straight out. So with my liquid pencil, I'm just drawing the line straight out to my eyebrows on both sides. And then the second step he says is to take that same pen and go from the inner corners to the outer corner and get your base down. I mean, that is kind of hard for me to do because I normally do the line first. I should have done that. I don't know why I'm scared. <laughs> okay, so he goes right where the line is. And so where my crease is, is there. So. Okay, there we go. Okay, and then you just go straight down with that pen and then you start to fill it in. This is really unusual for me to do my eyeliner this way purposely, so I definitely struggled. So if you guys are struggling, you are not alone. This is a really heavy liner on me. Okay, let me do my liner on the side the way that I normally would do it. I would just pull it straight down. Okay, the bat liner is just not gonna be for me. Um, I think that I look insane on this side. Hold on, let me, okay, I mean, I get it. I get like where we're going with this, but this is just a really, really heavy line on me. I would just still continue to what I normally do, which is I go right before where my crease is and I just kind of go straight and give myself like a really subtle, pretty cat eye. I'm not gonna give it a no, it's definitely for a specific look, but I don't think I'll be doing this for every day. I'm probably just gonna stick with my regular liner. Okay, let's move on to mascara. Okay, TikTokers and the mascara tricks. I naturally have really curly lashes, but so I think that this would be for somebody who has a little bit more of straight lashes. They take a mascara and they take a card, and I'm gonna be using a Metro card. It is clean because, ah, gross. Mascara, card, and the way that they do it is like this. Oh my God. <laughs> um, this is really uncomfortable. I don't even know what I'm really saying in this clip. This was a very strange thing. I think it's great if you're gonna make a mess with mascara, then it's definitely for you. But as far as mascara, I love to really get each lash and give myself the most voluminous lash and this really wasn't doing it for me. I felt like the lashes were just pressing up against the card and giving it a really flat look. Okay, or I can just like do mascara regularly. Yeah, I'm just gonna continue doing mascara the way that I like to do it, but you know what? Give it a try, you might love it. Wait guys, I kind of like the bat liner now. Hmm. When I'm looking straight, it actually really does look good. Maybe, I, I think it's maybe just because I didn't have mascara on, so I felt like I couldn't actually see the finished product. I'm not mad at this. Okay, all right. All right, I'm gonna give myself some contour and bronzer off camera, and then we're gonna be going into the blush hack. All right, I just did like a little bit of contour. So for blush, the blush hack that I see all over TikTok now, the way that I always do blush on myself is I go on the apples of my cheeks, I start here, and then I just kind of pull it up a little bit. I always thought that this looked really pretty. I felt like it gave me a really sun-kissed glow, but little did I know, my mind was about to be blown. So all over TikTok, I see people putting their blush here instead because this is supposed to give you a lifted look. You guys, I'm so obsessed with placing my blush here. I'm gonna be doing this every single day. I feel like a new woman. 
Wow, the difference. Oh my God. Here's the thing. I actually don't love blush that much. I always am more of a bronzer girl. So sometimes when I feel like I put it over here, I feel like I look like I have too much on. I'm into this. I mean, sometimes when I watch people do it, I'm like, why are you putting blush that high? But I kind of like it. Okay, now for lips. Okay, so we're gonna overdraw our lips the way that the TikTokers are doing. The way that I normally like to overdraw my lips is I actually just overdraw my Cupid's bow a little bit. But the trend right now that I'm seeing is people are actually giving a Cupid's bow more of a rounded look instead of actually following the shape. So on the ends, you're actually gonna follow the natural shape of your lips on the ends. And in the center is really where it's gonna happen. So you're actually gonna rest the pencil on the Cupid's bow and just kind of draw almost like a straight line with a little bit of dip in the center. You really don't wanna follow your natural shape. You wanna round out the tip of the Cupid's bow. If I cut this off, I feel like I would look like Winifred Sanderson from Hocus Pocus. <laughs> So remember, to achieve this look, you really wanna focus in the center of the lips. So the bottom and the top, you wanna to really make pouty. This is a totally different lip shape than I normally ever do. I feel like I look like a filter. Come over here. All right, I'm gonna put some lipstick with this. I mean, this definitely makes me look like I have lip fillers. Okay, I feel, <laughs> you know what? I think people are starting to do their makeup so they look like filters. This lip color is so pretty though, I love this lip. All in all, I think that, that I can really appreciate the hacks. I can definitely get into the blush a little bit higher. It's really fun for me to kind of experiment a little bit, especially because I'm so used to doing the same thing, especially on myself, on my clients, or at a photo shoot, I'll be a little bit more experimental and try some different stuff. But on myself, I really never step out of the box. I would like to find a hybrid of these liners. This is just a little bit thick right on the end to me. I like a little bit of a sharp point but I definitely appreciate the bad eye because when I look straight you can really see the liner it doesn't disappear as far as the lip I think it looks really great in photos and in a video it's a totally different lip shape for me I don't know maybe I'm into it the power of makeup is amazing you can literally transform your face just by changing the way that you do your lip liner or your blush or your liner I love it. Well guys, I'm gonna make sure to link everything down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. This was pretty fun and pretty entertaining for me. I hope that you guys like this video. I will link everything that I use in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.